Hey everybody, it's Wednesday night. Thanks for tuning in tonight. You know, we had on Sunday, if you didn't get to watch our lesson yet, you need to watch our lesson because we had a really fun game with tape and with cards and Ella and Avery and Blake helped me. And we actually counted all the cards and we found out that Ella was the actual winner with 22 cards stuck to her tape. So that was really cool and really fun. But we can't wait to see you. Hey, enjoy our videos and don't forget to click on the description and the link for your devotionals and parent page. Parents, we love you. We cannot wait to see your family with us again. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 41. The room was crowded. Over 100 followers of Jesus gathered, sat on the floor, or knelt to pray. Peter, always quick to take charge, may have led them. Lord, you told us to wait in Jerusalem. You promised to send your Holy Spirit. Now, just before, Jesus had gathered his closest friends at the Mount of Olives and instructed them to tell everyone about him, from Jerusalem to every nation on earth. But then, right before their eyes, he had been taken up to heaven. You've given us a huge job. We don't know how to do it when you're not here with us. So please, help us. The room stilled as everyone waited, even though they weren't exactly sure what they were waiting for. James and John may have been near a window. Getting windy out there. I'll just close the shutters. I don't think that sound is outside. Uh, uh, everyone stay calm. As the sound like wind rose even higher, a burst of light appeared in the center of the room. It flickered like a fireball breaking into individual flames. What on earth? I don't think it's from Earth. As the group watched transfixed, the flames separated and skimmed out until a tongue of fire stood over the head of each believer in the room. Is this? It must be. God's Holy Spirit. As the Spirit of God filled the room and the heart of each believer, something even more incredible happened. Soon, the believers realized what was going on. God has given us the power to speak other languages. Immediately, the believers went out to join the crowds who had gathered in Jerusalem for the Feast of Pentecost. Now, these Jews traveled to Jerusalem from many regions and countries where a variety of languages were spoken, so they were shocked to hear the believers talking about Jesus in words they could understand, and each believer responded in their own language. Aren't these people from Galilee? Yes, so how do we hear them in our own native languages? We've come from all over. I've met people here from Parthia, Mesopotamia, Asia, Egypt, Libya. But these Galileans are talking about God's wonders in our languages. What does it mean? I think it means they're a little loopy. Loopy? One fish short of a lunch, if you know what I mean. Peter heard the doubters in the crowd, so he gathered the rest of the disciples and made his way up to the very front. My fellow Jews, hey, people! Jesus of Nazareth was a man who had God's approval. God did miracles, wonders, and signs among you through Jesus. Long ago, God planned that Jesus would be handed over. You nailed him to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. The crowd listened as the Holy Spirit gave Peter the words to say and helped them understand. Jesus has received the Holy Spirit from the Father. This is what God had promised. It is Jesus who has poured out what you now see and hear. God has made him both Lord and Messiah. Many people were deeply moved by the words Peter had spoken. So what do we do now? All of you must turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then your sins will be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I, I want to be baptized. Me too. Me three. Then let's get started. That day, 
3,000 people believed in Jesus and were baptized. With the help of the Holy Spirit, Peter and the disciples were already beginning the big job of telling every nation on earth about Jesus, even before they left Jerusalem. Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. My name's John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the... Uh... Hey, buddy, you okay? So-and-so show! This is the so-and-so show. That's what it is. What is going on with you? I, I haven't been able to sleep lately. I'm just exhausted. I'm sorry to hear that. Why aren't, why aren't you sleeping well? I've been doing this thing to make a little extra money where I teach English to kids in other countries on the internet. Oh, don't you have to know other languages to do that? No, no, it's called language immersion. So I'm just supposed to talk to them in English, and after a while, they just pick it up. Oh, well, that's really great, but... Yeah, it's really, uh... Huh, it's really great. Yeah. <sighs> he still didn't explain why he wasn't sleeping. Uh, it's because I have to get up at 3 in the morning to teach English to kids in China because that's when it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon over there. Huh. Then I take a two hour nap before I have to wake up to talk to some kids in Italy. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Time zones, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, another thing. <laughs> John. John! Hey, bud. It's time to... Ah, I'm sorry! He's really out. Soccer isn't a real sport. Who dares? Great, you're up. Uh, we, we really need to start the show. Oh, oh, okay. It's time for someone who knows stuff. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry, we're not used to having two guests on at the same time. Uh, is one of you supposed to be here next week? No, I'm pretty sure we're at the right week. Uh, uh, there are two people here, right? I, uh, or am I just sleep deprived? No, you're fine. Uh, okay, uh, tell us uh, who you are and what you know. My name is Mariah Miller and I am an engineer for Velcro. I, I am sorry, I am so tired. Which one of you is Mariah? I'm Mariah. Oh. And I'm Cheryl, Mariah's assistant and sign language interpreter. You'll hear my voice, but really it's Mariah doing the talking. She's the brains of this operation. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, wait, so you're, you're sign this is sign language right now that you're doing? Oh. Do, you, do you mind if I ask, how long has she been... Um, you can talk to oh, her. Oh, sorry. How long have you been uh, hearing impaired? I was born deaf 
And I can't remember a time when I didn't know sign language. Obviously, I can speak a little bit, but having Cheryl in my life has made it so much easier. Aw, thank you. <laughs> so, 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 so wait, you've, you've, ne you've never been able to hear. It, it, that must be hard. It's hard, but I'm not gonna lie. Having, in here, having a hearing impairment doesn't make me any less capable than any other person. I go through the hard stuff like everyone else. Hmm. Plus, I try to look for the good in everything. Oh, oh how do you mean? Well, I'm not able to hear now, but I know this amazing, beautiful language, sign language, mm -hmm. and I'm able to focus and keep out input from other people. <laughs> if someone wants to talk to me, I don't really want to talk to them, and they can't get my attention. Uh, even if they're yelling, I just don't have to look at them. Oh. I'm teasing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right, we really ought to talk about uh, Velcro. No, no, no. Uh, can you teach me some sign language? This is how we say thank you. Oh, thank you. Cool. This is how we say I love you. I love you. Uh, yeah. I got it. I got it. It's a little I for I. Uh -huh. All right, okay, L I got it. for love, ah, Y for you. Yeah. I love you. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, well, seriously, we're running out of time. Is there anything about Velcro you can tell us really quick? Mm. Velcro was modeled from a burr from a plant that the inventor found that was stuck on his pant legs after a walk with his dog. Wow. Hmm. It was also used in the first heart surgery to keep the heart together. Now that's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they have Velcro inside an astronaut's helmet in case they want to scratch their nose. No kidding. You oh. want to try it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to try. Yep, that feels good. <laughs> it works. It works. It's true. Ooh, yeah, that's like, <laughs> lovely. Hey, thank you so much for coming on the show, uh, uh, Mariah, and you too, Cheryl. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Yes. Uh, um, is, is there, uh, how do you clap? Is there a sign? Yeah. Oh, 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 like that, like that. Okay, okay. Nice, how do you say bye? Uh, oh. <laughs> bye. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. I can't believe it. I didn't you know, know that sign one. language. I know. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> now I'm going to take a nap. Oh, man, we have to. <gasps> no! <gasps> uh, oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay, hold on. What are you doing? I, 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 it's time for me to teach a kid who's. Calling in from Moldova. Just, it, just act like I'm not here. Just keep going. Just act like I'm not here. So same as usual. Hello, my name. I, I'm your teacher. My name is John. J. Yeah. Uh, what is your name? Well, while he's doing that, shh, it's shush. Oh, hi, Maxim. Uh, what is the weather like where you are? Here, it is sunny. It's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> uh. Hey, y'all. Shh. Oh, um. Hey, y'all. No, this is ridiculous. Kellen can't be quiet the whole time. We're doing a show. I'm sorry, Maxim. No, 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 no. It's fine. I, I... You'll be speaking English this time, won't you, Kellen? This time? Yes. Great! Maxim, this is your new teacher, Kellen. It's, it's, it's really long word. Go ahead, Kellen. Okay, then. Today's story takes place on a day we call Pentecost. This was after Jesus had risen from the dead and after he had been taken up into heaven. And if you remember, before Jesus left, he gave his followers a mission to tell the whole world 
about him from one end of the earth to the other. Seems impossible, right? Well, wait till you see what happens in this reenactment by your favorite acting troupe, the So-and-So Show Players. <laughs> On the day of Pentecost, in the city of Jerusalem, the followers of Jesus gathered together in one place. So, what have you been up to since Jesus died, was resurrected, and then arose to heaven? I've been telling everyone I know about our risen Savior. Yeah, nice. Me too. Me too. Do you think that we're going to be able to tell the entire world? Well, I've told about like 50 people so far. How many people are in the whole world? Millions. Oh. Suddenly, a sound from heaven came like a strong wind. Oh, you hear that? Yeah, I, what is... <gasps> what, what is that? They saw something that looked like fire in the shape of tongues. <gasps> I don't know, but I'm sure we don't have the budget to animate it. They're right. So the flame separated and came to rest on the followers of Jesus in the house. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, wow. That was incredible. C'est magnifique. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, are you speaking a different language? Oh. Mamma mia. Moi? Oh, it's true. I am speaking French. And I am speaking fluent Italian. Oh, and yet we understand each other. <laughs> Potpourri, au duv encore. Bertoli, prego, ragu. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So, when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, all those gathered began to speak in languages they hadn't known before not in bad French and Italian accents. Fair dinkum. Nah, I'm speaking Australian. <laughs> Throw another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> Boomerangs. Anyway, in Jerusalem that day, people from a bunch of other countries had gathered for an annual festival. And when they had heard the Jesus followers speaking their own language, they were amazed. Wow, that guy's speaking Australian, even though he's not from Australia. Cheerio! And I do believe I heard a Galilean speaking British at tea time. Spit spot. Oh boy. Again, the followers of Jesus were speaking languages they hadn't known before. And to be clear, none of them were speaking English. The point is, that all the people visiting Jerusalem from other countries understood what the Jesus followers were saying. So they understood when one of the followers, Peter, stepped forward. <gasps> what an entrance. I got chills. Let me explain something to you. Jesus was nailed to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. <gasps> Rapa. How wonderful. <laughs> Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Yes. What, what should, should we, we do? do? Turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then you'll be forgiven and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. <gasps> Are you in? Does an emu fly? <laughs> Does it? I don't know. <clears throat> We're in, mate. That day. 3,000 people from different countries and different languages became followers of Jesus. And they would take the story of Jesus back to their own homes and tell the story in their own language. So people from one end of the earth to the other would hear the good news. Isn't that amazing? Totally, really amazing. And speaking of amazing, let's give a big round of applause for the so-and-so show players. Okay, wow, that, the Holy Spirit helped those Jesus followers do the impossible. I wish I had that. You do. Really? Yeah. Anyone who puts their faith in Jesus has the Holy Spirit. Then why can't I speak Australian? First, you can. And second, having the Holy Spirit doesn't mean you have the power to do whatever you want, whenever you want. But the Holy Spirit can help you keep going when things seem too hard for you alone. That's great. 
Good on you, Kelly. No, hey, I can speak Australian. Blah, blah, blah. We'll see you next time, Kellen. <laughs> Thanks for the story. You bet. Bye, guys. Bye, Maxim. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, right, 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 right. Good job today, Maxim. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow for your next lesson. Okay. Bye. Hi. Are you done for the day? Yeah, just only 18 more classes to go. Oh. John, I, listen, I think that this new teaching job is a great idea, but you might be overdoing it, don't you think? Are you kidding me? I'm good. The Holy Spirit can just get me through it. I know, but the Holy Spirit can also help you to be wise. You gotta have sleep, bud. John. John! Reveal the question! <laughs> the question of the day is, what helps you keep going? Mmm, sometimes coffee. Sometimes running in place. Oh, what helps you keep going? Not just when you're tired, when things are hard or when things are boring, maybe. What's something you can do or something you can think about to help you keep going? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next, we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Are you okay? I need a vacation. Okay. Hey, I hope you enjoyed those videos. We love you guys. We can't wait to see you again. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for keeping your word alive in us. Thank you for keeping your hope alive in us and the joy and the peace that you've given to us. Lord, I pray that you would help us to always remember that we can trust in you and rely on you for the help that we need when we get in difficult situations. We love you, Lord. I bless these children and I bless their families in Jesus' name. Amen. We love you guys and we cannot wait to see you.